Okay, welcome to Ham Shack Reviews. Today we're going to do a quick walkthrough of the menu of the Ellicraft K4. Okay, the first thing you want to do is come down and click menu. Let's go back to the beginning. Now this is in alphabetical order, so it would be easier to find what you're looking for. It starts out with your AF limiter, then it goes into your AGC automatic gain control settings. And then your auto referencing averaging. Your auto referencing the bounce, the offset. Then you can activate CWTX in single sideband mode. That's where you can send CW in single sideband. Then you got your jack out or your digital jack out for pin 11. You got external monitor function, which right now I'm mirroring the LCD. So what you're seeing here on the monitor is the same thing you see on the radio. Then you got your location. I have it above the K4. Then you can adjust your fan speed. Then for FM, you got a couple settings. Your deviation tone and your deviation voice. Frequency shift keying settings, the IP address to the radio, the ATU option, the tuner I have. You can see the PA options enabled, so it's 100 watt. You can see I have the second receive enabled that makes it a K4D. LCD brightness, LED brightness. The message repeat interval, if you want to send out a CQ automatically, like every, I guess it's set to 5 seconds or 10 seconds. I have not used that personally. Then you can control which button on the mouse you want to use. Now these are two new features, the size, the pointer size on the monitor and on the uh, radio. You got per band power. Now on 12, 10, and 6 meters, you actually have a third preamp, which you can enable. The radio serial number. Here it tells you what model I have, the K4D. And then a reference, like if your radio is off frequency, you can adjust this reference. You got your clarifier, second tap to restore. I don't use that. This RIT knob is pretty cool. I set it to pan span so that when I'm not using the RIT, I can actually turn the knob to adjust the uh, frequency span on the waterfall. You got your high pass filter I'm not using. You got an all mode squelch which I'm not using. RX audio mixer with sub on. What's the way I have it set? I have the left speaker will be van A and the right speaker will be van B. You have an RX RF auto attenuator, which I'm not using. You have your narrower CW filters, the IIR filters, which I am using. You see I have activated. Dynamic range optimization I have on. Screen capture file, that's the name of the file. Now you got your RS-232 settings, normal, and you got the baud rate. I got DTR and RTS on none. You got your serial USB PCI audio info, I got on normal. USB PCI baud rate, 3840 again 38400 again you get your DTR USB DDR I got on none same thing for RTS serial USB PC2 audio infos on normal baud rate again 38400 DTR for the serial is none and none speaker I got internal off because I actually have a remote set of amplified speakers plugged in. Speakers and phones, no, because I don't usually use the phones on the radio. One or two, 
actually this is for one speaker or two speakers actually while I'm here I'm actually going to change that see how easy it was to change it you click on it and you just move it and you click again to lock it spectrum amplitude units I got it in S units but you can also set it to DBM if you want I prefer S units lock it then you can add frequency marks you can actually add a trace fill which I will show you as soon as we finish up you got your tune up low power which I have set to 15 so I don't use the low power amplifier to tune it because there was an issue people were damaging their low power amplifier by tuning with it at 10 watts or less so I raised it to 15 you got your two tone generator I don't use your ALC is on it is a trick with this ALC if you want to talk on AM you want to turn this off just for AM TX audio low cutoff filter at 200 Hertz it rolls off anything below 200 Hertz your TX delay key out to RF out I got 8 milliseconds I believe that's what it came with because I don't remember changing that your delay the unkey to receive you got your TX gain calibration if you ever have to calibrate it, this will be it. This I have off because I like to control it personally. Your TX inhibit mode, I believe that cuts out your TX. I have not used that. Your monitor level on the line out. You got your TX noise gate threshold. Your QSK method. You got your VFO B differential band, no. Your VFO course tuning I have on 0.1 kilohertz. Your VFO counts per turn is 200. I have my watt meter cal. Set it whatever it was because I did not have to touch it. Then you go into your transverter settings. There's quite a few of them. And that finishes it up. Now going back here, let me see if I can find a signal. Which oh, the band's not very good today, so I may not find a signal. Let's try 20. There we go. Now you can see this is just lined out and hollow in the middle. If you actually clicked on that TX fill, this here would be filled in. But I prefer to just see the line. It's a personal preference thing. So Hope you found this helpful. Please remember to like, subscribe, and ding that bell. 73.